Again, when you're factoring using the sum and difference of cubes, what you want to have is a binomial that is made up of two cubes. 8x to the third power is the same thing as 2x to the third power. And the reason for that is because 2x times 2x times 2x is ax to the third power. So make sure you put parentheses in this quantity because this is the important part. You need to understand that that piece is the base. 125 is the same thing as 5 to the third power. Now that you have your two cubes, you're going to set up your factoring. One of these is going to be a binomial, the other is going to be a trinomial. And again, the binomial is really easy. It is your first and your last term without the powers. 2x minus 5. They will always match identically. However, in this piece, you're going to take this 2x, you're going to square it, you're going to take your 5 and you're going to square it. The middle term is a multiplication of both the first base and the second base, which is 10x. People then often get confused on the signs. Again, this is always positive and this is always positive. And in this instance, everything in the trinomial is positive because the general rule with all Sadoc problems is that there will only be one negative in your entire factored sol um, solution. And so this is not the formal answer. You need to square this. 2x times 2x happens to be the same thing as 4x squared plus 10x. And again, you have another square, which will make 25. This is the most appropriate answer for factoring a problem with the sum and difference of cubes.